Welcome to DanishClass101.com's Dansk i 3 minutter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Danish. Hej, jeg hedder Louise. Hyggeligt at møde dig. Hej, I'm Louise. Nice to meet you. In this series you're going to learn basic Danish expressions. It's super easy and it only takes 3 minutes. In this lesson you'll learn how to introduce yourself in Danish. There are only two sentences you need. Let's see how Danish people introduce themselves. Hej, jeg hedder Louise. Hyggeligt at møde dig. Hej, I'm Louise. Nice to meet you. Hej, jeg hedder Louise. Hyggeligt at møde dig. Start by saying hej, jeg hedder. Then say your name. Hej, jeg hedder Louise. Finally say hyggeligt at møde dig. Hej, jeg hedder Louise. Hyggeligt at møde dig. And now let's see the same sentence in a different format. Goddag, jeg hedder Louise. Rart at møde dig. Hello, my name is Louise. Nice to meet you. Goddag, jeg hedder Louise. Rart at møde dig. So what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a closer look at these together. Hi has been substituted with an alternative greeting, good day, Danish for hello or good day. In a formal setting, you would say your full name, but it is better just to use your first name when you're being introduced to new friends. The hyggeligt in hyggeligt at møde dig has been changed to rart. When you meet someone in a formal context, for instance at work, rart at møde dig would be the most appropriate greeting, while hyggeligt at møde dig is for when you're introduced to new friends. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Danish is Hej, jeg hedder Louise. Hyggeligt at møde dig. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Goddag, jeg hedder Louise. Rart at møde dig. Now it's time for Louise's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Denmark. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Denmark. Now that you know a hug is going to happen, head towards the person with your head tipped back. This is a non-threatening posture and shows the other person where their shoulder should go. Hand placement. When placing your hands on another person's body, you don't want to go too low or too high. Too low says, hey there. Too high, it's been too long. Neither of which is appropriate for a first hug. How hard to hug. Another tricky balancing act, you don't want to hug too tightly. Remember that your nipples and genitalia are aligned and interactions in these areas should be reserved for later hugs. Talking while in the hug. Try restating the purpose of the hug. If it's a goodbye hug, say something like, it was good seeing you. We should do this again soon. Don't comment on the quality of the hug, the feeling of your hugging partner's garments, or the scent of their hair. This is a good hug. Is that coconut? Rubbing or patting of the back. Give firm pats on the person's shoulders, reassuring them that what is happening is okay. Don't pat their back condescendingly with the heel of your palm. This tells the other person that you resent them for initiating the hug. Length of hug. Science tells us that a hug should last at least 20 seconds for endorphins to kick in and make us feel good. But a first hug isn't about feeling good. It's about gently squishing a stranger against yourself, giving you something uncomfortable to bond over. And that's your basic first hug. If done correctly, both parties should be riding a wave of relief that such a strange and uncomfortable custom passed so fairly. Just down the street is the famous commune Christiania. In 1971, several hundred squatters took over an abandoned military barracks and attempted to create their own utopia. Two generations later, those idealists are still here, defending their right to enjoy life on their terms. Back then, city officials allowed the squatters take over because no one cared about the land. Now this area is becoming some of the priciest real estate in town. 
Developers have their sights set on this land, and the very existence of the Christiania community is threatened. Depending on your perspective, this is either a shanty town of scruffy buildings, soft drugs, and dazed people, or a do-your-own-thing haven of creativity, peace, and freedom. While the main drag, nicknamed Pusher Street for its marijuana stalls, may be a bit off-putting, wander deeper into the community and you find the real soul of Christiania. We turn next to that breaking news, what police are calling a terror attack in Denmark. A gunman opening fire through the window of a cafe where a meeting about free speech was taking place. Police saying the shooting resembles that massacre at a Paris magazine. So was today's target another artist who satirized the Prophet Muhammad? Here's ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman. Tonight in Copenhagen, windows of the cafe now riddled with about 30 bullet holes as a gunman opened fire on the cafe this afternoon during a free speech event. One man attending the event was killed. Three police officers were injured.
And who gave it? It just appeared on the wall. Just like that? Just like that. Yeah. Like magic. Like Other <laughs> things do that as well. Just appear. Okay. And it's okay if they appear. And remember, be careful out there. Be careful. I, I thought that like this. I, think it's I want, I want focus on my syndrome. <laughs> I want to dominate the airspace. <laughs> I'm dominating the airspace in Christiania. <laughs> Go away! Nasty! Burn it! Burn the crew! Then I feel it more than the kids. Yeah, but I just feel like the kids are here. But I'm not going to be able to do it. No, I'm not going to be able to do it. Yes, he did it. Would you like to come on a guided tour of this exhibition? Would you like to join us for a guided tour of the exhibition? Literally just lock them in Thanks anyway. Ah, shocking. Anyway. More in a sort of sunny manner, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I have a belief, anyway. <laughs> Shut up. But anyway, greed, politics, power, control, trying to manipulate people for money, power, and greed. You're right. In the script? Yeah. So, could you have any questions? Could you have any questions? Oh, yeah, I think I have. Det hedder, yeah, no. de har en mail, yeah, vi, vi skal prøve at få... Uh, Men så kunne bare være meget bedre. It's a sexy dress, that's for sure. Sexy dress? <laughs> that's for sure. And uh, the back is... I don't know. <laughs> well, so how do we create world peace? Yes. So uh, this, I thought I could symbolize it with this uh, square in the round, ordinary peace sign. In many colors. Yes, in many festivals. Mm -hmm. I sometimes imagine it as being, you know, if, if we've been in a in a line giving each other massage. <laughs> <laughs> You right, really try and give each other a really hard mass. That's a love dream. <laughs> and then he's like, right, turn around, like, uh, no, I don't want to because it's going to hurt so bad because you'd be like getting nervous. The same ideas come back again and again. And then it's good to think from time to time, is there no peaceful way to resolve problems? Because mm. we tend to forget it in the time. One peaceful way is very successful, and that's uh, medicine. <laughs> we give a global medicine save hundreds of millions of people. So, just to explain, if you didn't see it, um, this is made of newspaper and I think, of course, news, newspapers do sometimes give us important information, but there's also a tendency, especially now, to make, as you say, not so serious uh, journalism. Companies pay a lot of money to get their logos in the right places, but all these are documented criminal companies who have uh, financed wars, who have financed uh, the Nazis in the Second World War, and I'm sure they don't want their logos on this swastika here. 
What a service. What a service. We solved the whole problem. We solved the whole world with four cups of tea. Question See, perspective. He can give it, and you can't. <laughs> we can question it. By provoking, yeah. provoking you to way of selling yourself. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, not. That course, shouldn't be the main aim. Yeah. But it, it is. It is. Not all the time. It is though. very often. I, I think you're just. I'm just full of shit. <laughs> kind of sometimes. Thank you.